Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and I have another Majuri video for you guys today. If this is your first time stumbling onto my channel, I have a ton of Majuri videos, so make sure you check them all out here. And I actually have a lot of styling jewelry videos as well, which you guys can also check out here. But in today's video, I am coming in with a highly requested video. And by that, I mean I self-implanted this video because I basically asked you guys in my monthly reviews if you guys would be interested in a two-toned slash mixed metals video and some of you, like three people, responded yes. So here we are. The very, very insanely highly requested video is here for you today. Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be going through tips and tricks and also why you guys should try mixed metals. But before I go into this video, I just wanna remind you guys, if you are new here, that I do have 10% off with Majuri. You guys can check it out down below. The discount will automatically be applied upon checkout. This is for new customers only. And if you are also curious of my entire Majuri collection, I also have it all in my website, lisaway.com slash Majuri, and you guys can find every single single item that I own from a jury. So with that being said, let's get right into this video. So let's kind of talk about two-toned slash mixed metals a little bit. So what that means is I'm actually just talking about the pure color, silver and gold. Doesn't necessarily mean sterling silver and gold or whatever, because of course there's also white gold. Just to give you a very, very quick recap, Sterling silver and gold vermeil are materials that you cannot wear 24 7 You have to take it off especially when you shower go to the pool swim, etc However things like solid gold there's white gold and yellow gold and for both of these You are able to bring it to the shower bring it swimming, etc. If you guys watch my vlogs you know, I literally do everything with them. Okay, actually I lied because for years and years and years, I have never worked out or done anything. And then finally I started becoming a little bit, you know, like active. So I started taking off my rings when I do any type of like weight classes. And I also started doing volleyball. So I would also take off my bracelets just so I don't break them. But otherwise, honestly, before I started working out, I wore all of my 14K solid goals and also the white goals literally everywhere, even diving into the ocean and retrieving some sea urchin. This is literally in a vlog, but anyway. Point is, it is up to you and your preference. If you're looking for something really big and statement-y, slash if you're someone who prefers to just take off their jewelry anyway, you can probably go with the sterling silver slash gold vermeil. And if not, I would recommend all the solid gold slash yellow gold stuff. You can actually watch a tutorial slash my tips on how to build a jewelry collection. I feel like that one's super helpful. That being said, why do I personally like mixing metals? I didn't didn't honestly do it for the longest time. I think the longest time my jewelry collection used to be all sterling silver. Then once I discovered Majuri, it was all gold. And then only very recently, like about the last year, I started collecting more white gold pieces and actually started incorporating more sterling silver pieces back into my life again. Honestly, ever since I started doing it, I just really, really, really like it. Obviously, it still depends on the occasion, but on most days, I actually always have white gold on my fingers, one or two, etc. I also just really really like how it looks when you put it together very nicely So kind of to give you an analogy of why I feel like mixed tones actually look really good is in the sense of hair So if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a long time or just even my youtube videos You will know that I have always had highlights slash balayage even right now You guys can see my hair isn't just fully one color I always 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 like to add some sort of highlight or even balayage because I I find that whenever I've always done just a one color slash if I have my full natural color, I'm going to show you a picture of back when I used to have fully black hair, which this picture is quite rare because I swear to God right now on the internet, I don't know if you can actually find a picture like this of me. The reason why I never really went back is because I always find that when you have even a little bit of highlight, like doesn't have to be anything too crazy, but if you have just like different tones within your hair, it gives you so much dimension. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like, it almost like livens you up a little bit, if that makes sense. When it comes to two tones as well, when you're styling jewelry, 
jewelry a lot of the times when you have gold and also interestingly enough a side note is that the different carats of gold also will have different colors so for example if you have solid 10 karat gold all the way to like 18 or whatever it is a lot of the tones will be different some will be more yellow some will be lighter yellow etc so even when you mix along that gradient I feel like could also give you quite a bit of a dimension I feel like obviously the biggest level of contrast is when you go into the silver slash white gold slash even like if you have different metals or different textures like gems or even diamonds etc for this video specifically I particularly like styling between silver in terms of color and gold and I'm also going to give you tips on why like I said besides the dimension is why I absolutely love doing it and then also if you do it right I feel like it looks really really just stylish interesting very bold very statementy especially because right now a lot of people still don't really like to mix metals one of the reasons and one of the people that had commented about wanting this video by the way thank you so much for reading one of the people that commented one of the reasons why I know people don't like to do it is because they are afraid that by just like mixing it it just looks like sloppy or it looks like an accident it looks like you didn't do this intentionally so I would say that number one the biggest tip for doing this is trying to make it look as intentional as you can I feel like that was a very obvious statement and it's followed by how it's like okay so please explain imagine I was like okay that's the end of the video Video. thank you so much for coming but really how do you make styling two tones intentional I would say if I had to summarize it in one sentence my advice is to try to keep it within the same family so for example if I had to give another analogy it's kind of like a deck of cards right it's like you either try to keep it within the same color family since we're not doing that maybe we try to keep it within the same shape clubs with clubs spades with spades hearts with hearts whatever so when it comes to jewelry I feel like the most obvious way to style it and put it together so that it looks like you're doing it on purpose and it was extremely intentional is by doing it within the same shapes so for example even right now when I'm styling my rings here you can see that I got two of the same Majuri rings one in silver here and one in gold. So the first one here is in sterling silver. As you guys can see, I feel like this is super elegant and statement-y. It is just a bar across. That's what it looks like from up front. The second piece is exactly the same. All you have to do is you just change the color on the Majuri website. So when I wear these two items together, it looks extremely put together and it just looks extremely statement-y. So personally, I like to wear these two items always together because even when I wear it alone, I'm sure you can. As you guys know, I'm a huge person on ring stacking. So whenever I see a ring alone, I'm always like, you okay there, bud? Are you lonely? Like what's going on? So anyway, I like to style these two together and I feel like it looks extremely classy. I've kept my hand extremely simple today. As you guys can see, I just have the state main piece on my index finger and then this one is my solid gold piece where it is the duo ring I believe it's called and it is just already linked together so it's a very good beginner piece if you guys are unfamiliar with stacking and you guys just want to make it easy for yourself that is one way I really 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 think that it works very well and I will also show you that in an example with my earrings as well so I actually have two different sets of earrings right now just because I want to show you guys as you guys can see for earrings I have two tips here the first one is the previous tip which is keeping it within the family as you guys can see here I have these square looking earrings I have the silver one in the middle and I have the small gold one on top by keeping it the same style style I'm able to you know change the colors and also change the size but ultimately the shape is still the same which makes it look super super intentional and then my second tip within this section is also picking pieces that already come two-toned there are so many products on Majuri right now that are already two-toned for example this one you guys who have watched my Majuri videos in the past will know I am so obsessed with Sarah Harris and Majuri collaborations I swear to god I own everything that she has ever made with Majuri and this is no exception this one here 
is the one where it is gold on top and this one is silver at the bottom. If you guys are also buying this earring, by the way, you can take the silver off and just wear this item alone like so. So I think it would be super cute if you guys were to get these two. And even if you got this one, you guys can put this one all the way at the top. So it has this like gradient effect. Personally, I just gotta say, I love, love, love this combination. Like I'm literally so obsessed with this combination. I'm gonna go closer so you guys can see. I am very into this structured like hoop situation here and I'm also just obsessed with this collaboration with Sarah Harris. So together this section is just oh chef's kiss for me and I love how there is just both colors. We've got gold and silver on the first hoop. We've got silver and then we've got gold at the very back. So going on to my next tip, I feel like a lot of you, especially the people who I've talked to via my YouTube comments, on my personal DMs and stuff, I have noticed that we as a collective, we have all been collecting a lot of diamond products, which love that for us. Don't need no man to collect a diamond, okay? Although if a man does come, by the way, can y'all please tell him there is a minimum size requirement. I'm just kidding. Okay, point is the third tip that I have is mixing silver and gold with diamonds because I feel like diamonds themselves are already more towards like the silvery tone. So when you mix it with diamonds, it just makes the transition so much more seamless rather than having something extremely contrasty. For example, this section here, I feel like is extremely like contrasty, if that makes sense. One is silver, one is gold. Whereas when you incorporate diamonds into your transition, to me, it feels more like an ombre, if you will. It's like you're kind of going from gold into like a diamond and then it goes into silver type of thing. If you already have diamonds in your collection, I really recommend trying to just pair it with your silver and gold items because together it looks so super cohesive and seamless. And I'm gonna give you an example, of course. For example, on my middle finger right here, I have the caviar ring. I also have the white gold in the diamond lines ring. I honestly forgot the name of this ring, but I also have the thicker diamond ring here. When you look at these three together, in all three products, the gold product and the silver product and then the other gold product, they each also have diamonds when you put it together it doesn't look like an accident and another tip is the way I stacked it as well I stacked the silver in the middle and I kind of do like a little sandwich so if you want to do like a sandwich with like gold buns with the silver in the middle or if you want to do like the silver color on the outside and then the gold item on the inside I feel like that looks super cute so as you guys can see this looks extremely seamless it doesn't look like an accident because of the diamond detail here and then you also have the diamond detail here here and then also I've sandwiched it as well when you sandwich just the one color in the middle it definitely looks way more intentional rather than looking like it just got pulled in together by accident. So another example of sandwiching is my other ear here. So I will show you guys. As you guys can see, I have a gold circular hoop once again, showing you guys how I keep it within some sort of like a relative shape family. It doesn't have to be exact and I'm gonna show you my third earring as well. On the first hoop, I have the everyday hoop and this one is in gold vermeil. The middle one, I have it in white gold and then in the very end I have it in solid gold. This one has little little spheres on them so if I show you guys up close this is what it looks like. So as you guys can see, by keeping it within the same family-ish, which I chose more circular, whereas this one is a little bit more like squared, more pointy, it is able to look a little bit more cohesive together. As you guys can see, this is one stack you guys can use, and then this is another stack that you guys can use. This also goes for necklaces as well, or bracelets, being able to just pick. Usually my go-to is always, I like to have some sort of choker. I have this choker here 
here and then I like to have a main necklace. If you are able to pick even a white gold or a silver chain here, then even incorporating one with a diamond I feel like is super cute. But these are some of my favorite ways of incorporating the two different colored metals. I hope this was helpful for you guys. All of the items that I have used today, you guys can find them, like I said, in my website, lisaway.com slash Majuri. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.